office was the same as I'd left it. Six months of dust looked like six months of dust, whether I was there or not. But the lease was paid up, and my key still worked. Lucky me. I went back for one last look. I had it with this life. No more waking up on the office couch, a drum corps in my head, Death Valley in my mouth, my one good shirt drenched in flop sweat and chasing demons in my nightmares, the empty bottle on the floor mocking me, reminding me I'm not as tough as I pretend. You know what I'm talking about. I was leaving for good. I didn't know where to exactly. Maybe the islands, maybe rent a boat, go fishing, alone. Well, almost. Maybe take a case of scotch and abroad who knew when to shut up. You know exactly what I mean, don't you? <laughs> Had a couple of things to take care of first. Six months is a long time to dwell on the half-second mistake that ruined my life. Especially when every move reminded me of the man I'd no longer be, that I still carried pieces of lead in places the surgeons couldn't reach. It was a long time to wait for that night. Plot revenge, plan redemption, dream of the only woman I ever really... could be a long night. Lucky thing, though, I only had to make one stop. Too bad it was one place in this whole stinking world where everything wrong and everything right about my life collided, where the swing was red hot, the beauty dangerous, and the luck as fleeting as the love. I knew my life would begin again or end again tonight. And I knew it had to be at the Club Morocco.
about a million times. 